thank you for joining me. So in front of me, I have these beautiful corner pocket dies from Anna Griffin. And here is the inspiration sheet. These are equally beautiful. You are going to get three of them and you want to make sure that you go back and emboss these because the detailing is very, very beautiful. Now you also, um, I am also not you, but I'm also going to use the corner pocket die cuts um, that was kind of pretty much made to go with this. And here is what you are going to get if you decide to get it. Um, you get four of each sheet and you just punch these out and you can layer them. There we go. So they're very beautiful. Um, lots of different florals um, pretty colors for the season and then you're also going to get um, sentiments for all occasions and then here's another one and you have little ladybugs here as well so you're getting four of each of those sheets and it comes with 212 um, die cuts so you just pop them out and you are good to go so we're going to make two cards today and my first one i'm going to do um a five by seven card and this is some of anna's paper um this paper is i'm not sure what this paper is from but this is one of her newer papers i think it's new but it's i'm just gonna um glue this to my card base and you can pretty much wherever the uh, die cut you can use it for your journaling and your scrapbooks your albums so it's just not limited to uh, card making so keep that in mind um, the die cuts are not available as of today it's May 23rd um, but you can get them off of Anna Griffin's website if you're interested so here is what the corner pocket die will look like one of them if, when you cut it cut it out and like I said, make sure you go back and get the detail of embossing. So that particular one that I cut out is this one here. And this one is a little small, um, the smallest of the three. This one is the largest one. And then this one with the, uh, looks like roses, um, is the medium size. So it's gonna come with two score lines and you're going to need to fold your score lines. So I'm just folding them and then you're going to need some um, if you're using like foil paper like me then I am going to be using some tear tape um, so you want to use something strong and you are just going to place that tape you can use your tape runners if you have it as long as it's strong and then I'm gonna place them here as well so it's just really easy it's just placing the adhesive finding where you would like this to be and then filling it with all of those die cuts Now you don't have to use those die cuts to fill it with you can find other things that you have and fill it with as well so then i'm just going to fold this back and then i'm going to get ready to place this on my card but let me peel back the adhesive strip so yeah this is a um previous collection that was brought back and she has been doing that recently and very grateful for that because there is a lot of her items from the past that I don't have. So then you're just going to fold it and get as close to the corner as you can. If that's where you want to put it, that's where it's meant to be. And then just lay it down. Okay, and then I'll just go in with my little tool and just press down where the adhesive was just to make sure it's sticking. So then you're kind of going to get that dimension of a pocket that comes up on the card, which looks great. And then you can now um, start to fill it. So some of the die cuts that I have cut out here is one, which is the Lily of the Valley. And I have put some foam adhesive that also I believe that comes with the um, yeah, it comes with the die cuts as well and you don't have to do this but you can just put this in like that and that way your recipient can have these pieces to use for whatever but me i want to make it dimensional so i put some adhesive and i'm just going to place another one on top of it 
and then I am actually going to um, glue these down but you can leave them as is and just place them inside but I actually want to get all my pieces together so here's one of the uh, lilacs and again I'm just doubling up and that's um, personal preference and you can just put these in just know that if you do not adhere them down you know if you're a recipient if you decide to mail it you know they'll flop around or whatever so I'm just going to I like the effect of just having it um, adhere down and just you know for them to just enjoy so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm going to take this one and you can place it in as deep or um, as far out as you would like I would like for mine to stick out um, so that the flower is visible and then I have here the lilac and it looks like there's a little rose attached to that as well and I'm gonna stick that like right here and I did put um, foam tape on the back of this you can glue it down and then I've also um, cut out not cut out I've also used one of the die cuts that is the bird and it has the um, he's on the uh, perching and there's a rose so again, I've placed foam tape in between that to um, double layer that up and I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of this. And yeah, you just do it as you choose, um, whatever works for you. And like I said, you can also um, use these pockets for other things. So they're just very, one of the um, collections from Anna that you probably want to have. There is another version of pockets that she did. I have those as well. And those go um, well, kind of more likely for the insides of your card. So I have those as well. And this is another one in the kit. Another rose. And I'm just going to stick that here. And then I'm going to do a little more decorating to my pocket. And then I have a sentiment and we will move on to the next card. So I'm just gonna place that here. So like I said, you place them where you want them and it's pretty much it. It's just super, super easy. So I have some stones that I'm going to place. So like one here. And this is just me being extra as always so just placing some little stones on here just to give it my touch and then um cut this out in like pattern paper it's so pretty if you use like the pattern paper so you'll get like a different look so be creative and yeah okay and then my sentiment that um like i said these come in the kit i have many things no 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 not many things this one's for the other card uh, just for you so like i said they are also included which is good um a bonus so i'm just gonna place this last one here and then i'm just going to place this um let me take off the adhesive backings and for our next card we are actually going to be making a slimline card. So I'm gonna place that here. And there you go. How pretty is that? And dimensional. So I'm gonna show you the dimension from the side. Uh oh, my little just for you. So I don't know if you can see it, but and then you see the pocket, you can see the depth. And then here so it's very very beautiful now for the next one I have a slimline card and I just used in a slimline die to make that and then I've also cut out one of the um, decorative layers from that kit as well well not the kit but the dies and I've also used one of her slimline embossing folders to um, emboss this so I've used the floral um, pattern to emboss it. 
So I'm just going to line this up. Now I actually have not um, tried to uh, use a pocket die to see if it fits on the slimline. It looks like it will, um, but this one I just wanted to make like a standard card um, with the die cuts so that you can see the die cuts can be used also um, in addition to in addition to the um, pockets so if you're just interested in the die cuts you can just purchase those separately as well and yeah so I'm just placing my little composition here and again I've placed foam tape um, in between and I'm just gonna layer this up and these yellow roses also came in the kit the die cut kit so you're getting pretty array of um, a pretty array of florals and colors so just be creative and place whoops and place that there and then again the dimension and then here is another bird. Um, let me see. Just a moment. Let me get some adhesive on the back of this birdie. And this one is another. There's a few birds in there uh, in the kit. Beautiful birds. And I'm just layering that up as well. So I'm just going to place that here in the middle so my little bird and then the layer on top for the dimension and then this is the sentiment many thanks and I'm just gonna place that right here right here I'll place it like right there and then just because we can I am going to add um, a butterfly so how cool is this to be able to use the die cuts in the dies and just create different projects and things so sorry I'm struggling with my little glue so here is the butterfly and there we go so there you go you can just make a use the die cuts and just make a totally different card and then here um, here's the dimension so you have two different looks okay so then I would like to share with you guys I have some happy mail and the first one is going to be from my friend Julia and she sent me this beautiful slimline card so pretty love the birds I'm not sure she knows that about me, but I love the birds. I love butterflies, but I love artificial butterflies. And this is very pretty. Some beautiful twine here with a lantern. And it looks like she is really, really good at fussy cutting. Something that I'm not. And I love these beautiful drops that she used as well. And she added some dimension. It's a really beautiful slimline card. And then my next card is from my friend Kathy. And this is beautiful. And I see Anna's papers and flowers, so pretty. Love, love, love. And I love the butterfly, the ombre butterfly to top it off. And the glitter on the flowers. I don't know if you can see it. But this is from my friend Kathy. And then on the inside, love this. So pretty. I love the yellow. It's so cheerful and bright. Thank you, Kathy and Miss Julia. And then for my final happy mail, this came in this beautiful box. And this is from, I took the things out, but this beautiful box. And this was from my friend Carol. And here are some stickers that says pretty things inside. And that is true. So then I have this little bag. And it came with some information about a Jacob's Ladder card. And I feel like I've seen this before, but I don't know the history behind it. So here is the pretty ladder and I lied to you not guys, this has been sitting this, this Easter. I'm showing you late because you guys know I have been uh, not filming for a few weeks because I had been too busy. So I didn't get a chance to show these items, um, this Happy Mail. 
so it is Easter but this hangs in my tree in my living room not my Christmas tree but like a decorative tree and it's just been there ever since and I don't want to take it down it's so pretty and colorful it's so me so isn't this pretty so it has a hook and then you just you know as you're looking at it you would just go like this and then when you flip it over it aligns up like you don't have to flip it and then flip it like this and you see if you do it like that it's upside down so you just like you're reading a scroll and then like that how pretty is that and then just flip it over again and it starts back up and I just love I just looking at everything here I just love the I saw a bird I love the bird right here little bird house so cute so that's from Carol and then she also sent me a um, she also sent me a Cadbury chocolate bar and I ate that me and my baby ate that so then I have another cute little bag and look at this this is so cute I don't know where she got this from I don't know if this is Anna because I know Anna does the um, cutouts with the letters I know that she does it with the sentiments as well I don't know if this is her um, I don't think so but it looks like something she does but it's so pretty this might be stamps of life I don't know who cares it's beautiful and I want it so it's so nice and then for my final item from Carol another cute little bag and then this for is a um, happy Easter card how pretty is this and then of course this is Anna look at that how pretty and what I love is how she she double layered that's something that I, I I don't think I did that no I did colors like a rainbow color if you check out my flower pop-up video but I didn't do it the way she did it this is so pretty look at that so pretty so that is from my friend Carol. So thank you, Julia, Kathy, and Carol for my happy mail. If you guys want to send me happy mail, please email me. I'll leave the email in the description box. Thank you so much for joining me today. And again, Anna Griffin, Corner Pocket Die Cuts and Dies. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Bye.